Hello traders out there in trader land, my name is Des here at Grok Trade and this is the weekend edition. This video is good through Sunday, July 24, 2011 and we have a lot to go over so stay with me here. Uh, first thing I want to show you just an update of a trade that I'm in. This is Goldman Sachs on the daily chart. I got in down here on the gap down run up. This is specialist behavior. The specialist behavior is something I do teach in mentoring and you can capitalize on entering when the specialists and market makers get in. You can jump in with them. I jumped in at two spots, one on this low candle, another one on the breakout. The difference between the two is this till line you come across. I'm holding just over a um, uh, just over a half of a, a whole position that I normally hold. I will add to that if I see it pull back, give me a big trend reversal type pattern, such as inverted head and shoulders, double bottom, a triple bottom, a V bottom, whatever that may be. I will add to this position if there is still more upside to go. All right, let's get on with business here. We're looking at the S&P daily first. We're going to go through all major indices. We're going to look at the daily, weekly, and monthly. So if you look at the big, big picture here on the S&P, you have this big, ginormous, symmetrical triangle, all right? Here's this big triangle. You can see it's consolidating. This is a stock now or an indice or an index, a broad market um, indice that is coiling. Anytime you coil, you build power and strength, and we are within the confines of a major triangle. I did draw another trend line, this going to this higher swing high, so we are condensing even more. You can see here on Friday that we did stall out. Now, after a nice run, we started off the week pretty bearish here, but we ended the week quite bullish, and you can see that we have a what's called a hanging man trend reversal pattern with almost a tweezer top. But this is not good. This shows that we're at a resistance and that there's a good chance of a drop taking place here. If the drop does take place, the first area of support I'm looking at is this trend line rising here, which would put us, um, it would coincide with the 20 and the 50 day moving averages also. If those don't hold, I have these other lines coming across, 1316, 1305, and 1295 areas of support, and then a trend line coming up here and another big fat one coming up right there. All those areas should act as some level of uh, support if they are needed. However, we are at the high end of the symmetrical triangle with this could build some opportunities for a breakout. And if we do get a breakout, it's got to bust through some key areas such as the 1345 that we see here, including this major, major trend line and those two shadow lines and then up there at 1364 which will be a resistance area too not um i can't leave out this high either that put us about 1353 so those are the resistance that um we'll have to contend with if the markets do break out so we're looking for this market to break out or down sometimes we can get a better picture here if we go to a higher time frame such as the weekly chart so we're looking at the weekly chart on the s p and we still see this massive, ginormous triangle. I'm just going back showing everybody where these lines derive from. And you can see that we're coiling, coiling, coiling. With this, we also are within a rising wedge formation. Uh, very bearish, but we're in a symmetrical triangle that could be bearish or it could be bullish. But this is what's called consolidation. If you go back here... Well, for some time, you can go back almost six months, and we've just been choppy, 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 choppy in this big range. I'd like to see if we can stay above 1,300. If we can stay above 1,300, that would be bullish. However, if it drops below and this trend line quite bearish, or if it goes higher than these areas, quite bullish. And you can see these um, areas that we're looking at here. 1,364 is a major area. 1,357 is one we're looking at. And we've already got up past the 1,340 two for the week so if you look at this weekly chart you can see maybe we had a higher high and a lower low so a very choppy week to say the very least however it ended on a bullish note question is, is can we get some legs and will this go higher if you look at the monthly chart the monthly chart we're in this big rising wedge but it's an extended one i mean those two lines um it's going to take a while for them to you know come together but we have this high base this high base formation is more bullish than it is bearish but it, we have 1364 it's a major area we need to bust through and if we could bust through that that would be nice then our next area 1400 after that we have this trend line if we could bust through all of that fantastic 
However, if we do start to drop, next area support, 1268 on the monthly chart, which would coincide also with this big trend line that we have coming up. All right. So that's where we're at. Stochastics, which is a banded oscillator, is showing us that we are overbought, that the markets need to relax. All right. Now, when it comes to the Dow, the Dow here, above all major moving averages, we popped up over a resistance line right here. Trend line, trend line. We popped up over resistance. On the daily, though, we popped up and then came right back down. Not so good. We have a kind of a tweezer top or at least a bearish thrusting pattern. Lower high, higher low. So we kind of have this inside trading type day. If this drops here more, we'll have a double top. Double top gives you an M for murder. So that would be a bad thing. And we'd have a bearish divergence here on what the MACD. And this MACD is a centered oscillator. And that would be no good. Now, if I go here to the weekly chart. Weekly chart looks like it's in a massive and very beautiful um, symmetrical triangle. Symmetrical triangle right here. So all looks well. And we're coiling and we're coming to the apex and we're building a high base. So the Dow looks more bullish than it does bearish. On the daily, you can see that we made a higher high, lower low on Friday. Or I'm sorry, on the weekly, weekly chart. So the weekly made a lower low, but we ended with a higher high. So it ended on a nice bullish note here. And if we go to the monthly on this month we have this high base we're looking at 12,814 as a resistance area and then after that 13,000 after that look for the big trend line for resistance as far as supports concerned we're going to be looking at 12,000 that needs to hold or this trend line and then after that we're looking at 11,529 or 30 11,530 line coming across all right, NASDAQ, a lot of you are holding Apple, Baidu, Microsoft, Intel. You know, there's a bunch of them out there. Let's start off with the daily. The daily here, a big ascending triangle. So an ascending triangle is more bullish than it is bearish. We are pretty extended here to the upside, but we're starting to get a bearish divergence here on the MACD centered oscillator. We have major resistance coming about around 28.73. I'd say 2870 to 2873 is resistance area. If we do hit up there and then drop, that would be bearish. However, as long as we can stay above this trend line right here coming up, that would be good. We do have support at 2836. After that, we have this trend line. So this on the daily, if it, if it breaks out, it needs to get over these areas, but also this big massive trend line right here. And then after that, 2830. 920 is a resistance area that we're looking at now on the weekly weekly looks pretty good if you look here um, about three weeks ago we actually broke out but last week we came back down Uh oh that was bad news however this week if you look at this what we have here is lower low but a higher high over the tops of this trend line Usually a NASDAQ will lead the markets, not lag it. So this is showing some bullish activity. Not so bad. The CCI is getting into overbought territory again. So that's something of concern that we need to watch. If you're a technician, that is. Now, when it comes to the NASDAQ, we're in this big rising wedge. More bearish than it is bullish. However, we're after this big run up, we're building a high base. More bullish than it is bearish. So we have a, a divergence in different patterns that we're seeing here but we have resistance here at 2874 it's a big number it's a number we need to be watching for if we can bust through that we have this trend line to deal with and the 3000 mark which would put us about the same area after that that would be quite bullish if we can get up over that now as far as support is concerned look around 2600 for a lot of major support after that look at 2533 and then 2463 64 so that's where we're at. Now, Russell, small caps. These are the ones, like especially those that are on the our, my stock picks, V newsletter or video newsletter. A lot of um, our bull picks are, are smaller cap companies. They haven't had their big runs yet. 
you can see here we're within the confines of this major major triangle we're above all major moving averages we come up we we have a doji we also have a tweezer top it looks like it's wanting to drop and if it does drop which it hasn't yet but if it does you're going to have a real nice symmetrical triangle within a much larger ascending type triangle or possibly rising wedge all right so as far as the daily is concerned um, we're consolidating, but moving average is acting as support, not resistance, so it's more bullish than it's bearish. We are on the MACD centered oscillator, making a bullish move, busting up over the zero line. All right, now the Russells on the weekly. Big, big, big kind of rising wedge. Now we're going into this symmetrical triangle, and it's actually acting like it's wanting to bust out. If it busts out, we have to get over this trend line and then this massive trend line right here. If it can do that, wow, we need to be bullish in the markets if that were to happen. However, if it, you know, let me go back here. If it starts to drop, be watching about 800. 800 needs to act as support. If it doesn't, be looking at 773 as the next area support. After that, it's a big, massive, gnarly trend line. All right. So here's the monthly. The monthly is we are in a uptrend. It's an uptrend. We're at resistance here, support here, resistance here, and we high base. High base is very, very um, bullish. And we have an ascending triangle, which is also bullish. We're looking for a breakout over about 900 and some change. And if we could get that, we could get some resistance. And then if we can get past that, that would be quite bullish here for the markets on the Russells and small caps, especially. So something else I like to look at when I'm here, this is FinViz. FinViz, you can see that right there. And I like to look at the groups. Whoops, let me bring this back. The groups here will tell us kind of the big picture of what's taking place. But all you do is click on groups, come down. Yeah, uh, one thing I do want to point out on the weekly chart, financials did the very best up 3.6%. And that really worked out quite well for my Goldman Sachs play that I'm in. Technology did very well. So we're seeing bullish activity for the week. However, for the month, financials are down quite a bit. That's not overly good. I don't like to see basic materials this high either because this could be a, a recessionary cycle getting ready to happen. Three months, financials in the pits, no good at all. Utilities, the strongest, healthcare, uh, next in line, consumer goods services. Yeah, but for the week, that is pretty strong. That's, that's actually in the face, the three month and the one month. All right, so sum it up. What do I think? I think we're in a lot of consolidation, and I think this is tough to trade in unless you're a day trader. It's hard to swing trade, and this is a great time to be sitting on your hands anytime you go into consolidation. Go into vacation mode and get your trading plan established and work on that so you don't feel like you have to be in the game, especially in the face of all these resistance areas. All right, so on the weekly charts, if I look at this, the vast majority of them are consolidating inside triangles. We're just waiting for it to make a move up or down. So we're in a holding pattern. However, the big monthly charts, yes, even though most of them are all in these rising wedges, it's not a real drastic rising wedge, but we are building a high base. So the monthly chart's actually saying that we might be going higher. All right. We have financials in the... As far as sector rotation is concerned, we have financials acting quite weak, going back three months, one month. However, for the week, it's showing some life. So the question is, can this market show some life and pop? Well, we have Boehner walking out here on Friday from a talk with President um, Obama, and talks don't seem to be going that well at, at the time of this video, that is and the markets will be watching this so it's really hard to understand or know what may happen with the markets i can tell you this if they shut down the government i don't see that as being a real good thing for the markets because the markets don't like uncertainty uncertainty will drive the market straight down so anytime there's uncertainty something we're not comfortable with expect a lot of volatility to spike so um, however if they do not shut down the government they come up with the fix uh, certainty you know comfort should be there confidence should be there so we should see volatility decrease you could see the markets start to increase so all right that said 
I want to be able to offer everybody a special discount on the stock picks V newsletter. If you want to trade along with me and trade socks that I'm trading on a week to week basis, I'm going to give you a great opportunity here. And all you do is type in this code and you're going to get two weeks free of charge. Two weeks free of charge. You have to go to first, go into free online trading education.com. Once you click on that, click down a little bit to V newsletter. When you click on the V newsletter, what you want to do is go and subscribe. When you go to subscribe on the monthly deal, put in this promo code, the number two week, two weeks. And once you put that in, you will see that you will have 14 days free coming to you. Try it out. See if you like it. Take care and safe trading to each and every one of you. And if you'd be so kind, give me a thumbs up down there below. And for all you YouTube watchers, click that subscribe. Don't miss another one of my videos.